Now let's implement the code to fetch the image so that we can finish up the UI. And I'm going to go back to my editor and I'm going to open from images, assets, fetch image.php. So here's what the PHP code looks for that looks like for that. It's basically this select statement. And so I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this list images and paste in a new copy and call this fetch image. And this is going to take two parameters. It's going to take an image ID and a callback. So once again, the callback is going to be where I pass the image data back to my web server. And all of this is the same until I get to the actual query part. So instead of this select statement here, what I want is this stuff. And I'm going to paste that in and then start editing it. So select, I'll use the single quote, select star from metadata, join image data on ID is image ID, where ID is question mark, comma, and then let me break this up a little bit. Plus, just so it's a little more readable. Okay, so there's my SQL statement. Now this question mark here in the query, this is called parameter binding and basically um, I leave the value out of my select statement and then I pass it in as a separate parameter and anything that gets passed in automatically gets treated as um, a literal value. Um, so this helps to defeat something called SQL injection where people pass in parameters that are actual SQL statements and then if you just add them in right here, um, you inject your SQL statement into this whole statement and then SQL thinks that it's two SQL statements instead of one and you can basically execute any arbitrary SQL statement you want. So you could in fact execute a statement to drop the whole table if you wanted to or to look at all the data or whatever you want. So by passing this in using parameter binding it helps to make my code safer. And all I need to do to use uh, parameter binding here is just pass an array of values that get bound to these question marks. So I only have one value that I want to bind, and that's ID. So here's an array that just contains the ID value that was passed in. That's bound to this question mark, and it says where ID equals like 3 or 6 or whatever. And then this is a select statement as well, so I'm still going to get back error, rows, and fields. All this is the same. The only difference is that instead of passing back all of the rows, I just want to pass back the first row because I should only have one image coming back. So pass back row sub zero. And then in my web server, I need to call that. So I'm going to add another if statement, else if, and then I'm going to copy this code. And this one is fetch images, fetch image. And then since I'm using the URL, module and I've called URL parse with th this parameter true 
the ID that was passed in is going to be passed in on URL rack dot query dot ID. So the callback function is going to take URL rack dot query dot ID. I'm sorry, that was actually supposed to be here. URL rack dot query dot ID and then a callback. So this time we're not actually returning JSON. So the content type is actually going to be whatever the type is for this image. So let's call this image here. And uh, this is going to be image dot type. And we'll include, we don't actually need those MIME headers either. And then we also do need the image size. And then this is just going to be image data. So we only need these three fields. We need type, size, and data. So let's go ahead and optimize our query a little bit as well. So we'll select type, size, and data. So let's go ahead and see if this works. I'm going to stop my server. Restart it and reload. Oh, and I forgot to do one thing. I also need to go to image UI and change this call to fetch image question ID equal. And since I haven't actually loaded that page, it should still be good. Um, so click on here. Okay, nope, so not quite working. Let's see what we're getting. So this get is returning failed. And we got a crash. String is not a function on this callback. So it's trying to call the callback on line 69 here. Oh, did I change the right one? Yeah, this should be fetch image. So let's go ahead and restart it. And reload. And there's our images. Good. So now if we look at the data, you'll see that these are all image.pngs. Let me find a GIF here. There's a JPEG. So image.jpg, image slash JPEG. And here's an icon. A little icon, image slash X icon. And so it's using the correct MIME types that were passed in when I stored the image in the database.